Hello, hello, everyone. Come on in, come on in. I know we're a little bit earlier today, uh, but I wanted to get in this live for you guys because I want to talk about the uh, different types of savings accounts. So I have six different types of um, saving accounts that I'm going to be talking about today. And I'm excited. So you all just come on in and come on in. Disclaimer, if uh, you hear a little barking, I am at home and I have two little dogs, Didi and Ava, so you may hear them bark. And I prepared notes for you guys, so if I look down, I'm just checking my notes, okay? Thank you for coming in. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes and allow people to come in. I'm going to allow you all to come on in here today. Make sure that you are uh, you like and share this uh, this video, this live, um, so we can get the word out to more people. More people will be educated, and then it gives me inspiration to keep going um, and to give you all more uh, content on your finances and how we can improve them. So make sure that you're liking and sharing um, this live. All right. I really do appreciate it okay so we're gonna wait for about two more minutes and then we're gonna dive on in we're gonna be talking about the six different types of savings accounts today I'm excited about it so I have a few of them myself so it just I'm just excited to share what I know all right Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I'm going to wait one more minute and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. Wait one more minute. Alright you guys, so like I said today, we're going to be talking about the six different types of savings accounts. Um, saving is very important to um, build a financial, stable financial foundation. So saving, it's different ways that you can save, it's different types of savings accounts that uh, will help you save your money. Um, to achieve your goals, whether it's an emergency fund or a specific goal that you're trying to um, to save for, there are different uh, there are different savings accounts for that, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm gonna just dive on in, okay? So the first type of savings account that we have is the traditional savings account, right? So that's the savings account that you can go to any branch and open up um, at your local at your local branch or credit union. Um, usually, those um, those type of accounts only uh, offer like very small yields as far as their annual percentage, the annual percentage yield. So basically, when it comes to um, that particular account on uh, growing interest is is between like one percent maybe two percent on your return for the whole year okay so these type of accounts they're not um, they're not for some they're not for the use of um, wanting to build interest off of them wanting to make money off of it because they do give a return at the end of the year, but it's not much at all, okay? So that's your standard, uh, to what they call traditional savings account, okay? That's number one. So that's basically your normal savings account. Um, with these no, with these savings accounts, you can only take uh, five to six withdrawals without penalty per month. 
Um, usually some banks and credit unions charge a $5, $10 fee if you exceed that amount of withdrawals from that particular savings account because the, 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 the idea is to save so they want to try to penalize you so you won't take out all the money. So that's why um, they put a penalization there because they that's their way of um, saying, hey, you 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 taking too much money out. You need to watch yourself. So we're gonna charge you, okay? So be aware of that uh, on a monthly basis. So if you do need to um, withdraw any money, usually take out enough. So for the um, uh, take out enough for whatever you're trying to cover, and then make sure that you're replacing it back into that savings as quickly po as possible because we want to pay ourselves back. Okay. So number two is the high yield uh, savings account. So this is for people that want more of a competitive um, rate on their savings. So meaning that the, uh, the annual percentage yield is a little bit higher. So your interest rate, uh, the interest rate of return is a little bit higher. So high for a savings account is around 0.5.6%. So that's what you're looking for as far as a high yield savings account. Anything that's in between 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7% on your, your APY, which is the annual percentage yield, that will be considered a high yield checking account. You will get a dividend at the end of the year on the amount of money that's still left into that savings account. Okay? So... Um, they still have um, they still have the same benefits it, depending on the the bank that you go through but they do still have some of the same benefits as a traditional checking I mean traditional savings account I'm sorry um, but it's just a little bit higher on the return as far as the percentage what the bank will pay you okay so you can typically find uh, a high yield uh, savings account with online banks um, they offer better rates than they um, they do in person okay some banks some um, brick and mortar banks don't even offer it so i would just suggest looking for a high yield checking account not checking, you guys. I keep saying checking. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I would suggest looking for a high-yield savings account um, on the Internet. Just go ahead and apply online um, and get you a high-yield savings account with a, a institution, a banking institution that you feel comfortable with, okay? So uh, another thing when it comes to a high-yield um, high savings account is because they're typically online it may take a few days if you want to transfer money from outside accounts because a lot of times they will make you do a, a bill pay um to that to that uh particular savings account and it has to be processed and all of that or if they do let you do some type of direct deposit from your debit card, it will still take two to three business days before it actually shows up into that high yield savings account. So keep that in mind too. Um, the transfers of money going into that account will take a few days to show up in that account, okay? So I just want to thank you guys for just tuning in. Uh, we're talking about the six types of savings accounts today, which I am so excited about. Um, we are we're about to get into um, the savings account number three in a minute. But I just want to thank you all the who the people that's coming in. I want to thank you all for coming in. All right, so we're gonna get on to number three, okay? Because I don't want to hold you all long. We're going to get into number three, and that's the money market account, okay? So, um, these accounts is basically, they, they're good for people that want to save an interest, but they want to have more options for their money or more access to their money. So, it's basically kind of like the, um, the high-yield savings account, 
but it's called a money market account. So money market accounts is still carry the high yield APYs, um, but you do have access to a bank. So you, you, be, you'll be able to go to a banker and set up this account. You'll have more access to the, the funds because you'll be able to go into a branch to, uh, monitor it, to make deposits, to make withdrawals. And most banks, especially, um, most well-known banks do provide this. So that, so if you want this, if you want something that's still going to um, yield you a high return at the end of the year and you have the access to the in-person banking, I would definitely go with the, um, with the money market accounts, okay? Because uh, they do the same thing, but you just have a little bit more access. Um, you can also write checks off of this. Uh, off this particular account. You can also provide um, bill pay off this particular account, but you still have to keep in mind the amount of, the amount of withdrawals, okay? Because it still is a savings and, they, and the purpose of a savings account is to keep the money there, okay? So um, these accounts are also referenced as a MMA or MMSA. So it's just a money market account or M or money market savings account. So if you hear an MMA or MMSA, they're talking about the same thing, okay? That's just the lingo, okay? Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you for joining, thank you for joining. Okay, we're gonna move on to account type number four. And that's what we call a CD, a certificate of deposit. I know you've heard about that uh, for several years now. I mean, it's something that we hear about, but we really don't get into because um, you may not know how it functions, okay? So basically, it's basically an account that has competitive rates, okay? It has a competitive uh, return on your investment, but um, you you want to put money in this account that you don't um, necessarily want to touch, okay, for a long-term basis. So um, normally with CDs, you put your you put a certain amount of money in, and then you agree to the terms, okay. And when I mean you agree to the terms, you have uh, different term periods that you can agree to. So you can do a short term CD that's maybe 30 days all the way up to about a 60 month uh, CD term, okay? Uh, so when it comes to whatever term that you feel comfortable with selecting, uh, you'll put your money in to the CD and then it will be start to build interest, okay? During those terms, okay? you are not um, allowed to touch it without penalty, okay? So that's why I said uh, a CD is good for you putting back money and you don't want to touch it for a while and you just want the interest to build, okay? A good um, APY for a CD is anywhere between uh, 1.5 to 2.5%. That's a really good... Um, annual percentage yield um, for this this particular account type, okay? So you can find these with your local banks and credit unions and also online, but you'll get the better rates online than um, with a, um, a standard brick and mortar bank, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, now, these accounts also have a early... Um, a early withdrawal penalty, okay? So that means if you decide to withdraw money before your term, you will definitely get um, penalized with some type of fee or or a payment plan or something like that um, when, you, when you decide to withdraw early, okay? Um, so you definitely want to make sure that when you're looking at the accounts and you're searching for the different through the different banks and you're looking for the different types of CDs and their uh, interest rate, you want to make sure what is their 
uh, early uh, withdrawal penalty. See how much is that, how much that's going to be, because sometimes life happens and we may have to type, type and in, tap into those accounts, uh, but we want to know. Uh, from the beginning how much that would be if that happens. So hopefully we don't have to touch this money But if you do you will be penalized with that early withdrawal penalty, okay? Um, so CDs are really good really good if you just don't want to you want to save let it earn interest and then also once the term is up for a CD you can definitely turn that amount that that CD into a new CD and let it grow and let that amount of money grow even more for an uh, additional term whatever you set that term to so you can definitely roll these CDs over you can definitely put more money into the CD uh, while it's in there so very good option very good option so um I think you also check that one out for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so out of the four uh, so far, I have a high yield savings account and I have a regular, um, I have a regular traditional savings account. Okay. So we have two more to talk about. So I'll let you know which ones I have of those as well. Okay. <clears throat> so we're on number five. And that is your cash management account, okay? So basically, this is really not a savings account per se, but it's basically a holding um, a holding pot that brokerages provide for people uh, where you can put money into it. It'll grow interest, um, but you can put money into it for future investments, so you can definitely um, keep adding money to this uh, cash management account and basically it earn the interest for you. And then when you decide to start investing, um, you can use it on stocks, mutual, for, mutual funds, and retirement plans through their brokerage. So you'll be able to find some of these on the internet online more successfully i'm with charles swab um really love that company um and i have my cash management account with them and i just randomly put money over there uh from time to time um and let it sit until i until i do research on the next stock that i want to um invest in okay so once i'm ready to invest i already have the money sitting over into into their account already um it's building interest for me and i can go and get me a new stock right within the same app and it just draws money from uh from my cash management account okay so i love it it's very easy uh, depending on the brokerage that you decide to use you will um uh, also have access to writing checks off of this um you also have um access to bill pay and all of that uh so it just depends on the brokerage that you decide to have a cash management account with like i said i use charles swab absolutely love it okay um they provide you know the stocks the mutual funds and the retirement plans right within the same app so love it you know, they've been around forever, <laughs> okay? Okay, so we're going to uh, wrap this up with the last one. So we're in number six. So you have specialty savings accounts, okay? So these accounts are really good for saving for a particular type of goal, okay? Um, so and a goal that you don't want to particularly touch, um, but you have different goals that you can establish these accounts for okay so we have a list of them so you have kid you have kids savings accounts you have custodial savings accounts you have student savings accounts uh you even have you can set up a christmas fund um savings account and a lot of times these state these christmas funds usually start around september october at some at some branch locations that way it gives you some time to um 
they'll start advertising it around that time and they where you can open an account and put money back just for Christmas alone. So that'll be that's very helpful, okay? Um you have the home down payment um savings account. You can do a five five twenty nine college savings account. Um you can do a traditional or a Roth IRA account, and also you have the health savings accounts. Okay, so most of the most of the time, the health savings accounts are through. They're going to be through your health insurance, but you have to uh, get a high. Um, you have to get the the premium package in order to get these particular savings accounts when it comes to the health plan, okay? So uh, when it comes to the health plan, I would definitely check your health care provider to see if they provide that, how much extra that would be uh, if you were to get a premium package with them guy, with with uh, the company, um, to be able to get a health savings account, okay? So especially accounts, you can either use them for long term or short term purposes. Most time, people use them for their children, for college funds. Great option for you to be able to throw money in and just don't touch it. And you know your goal is for your your kids or retirement or for health. So, those are the six uh, different types of savings accounts that that are out there. I just wanted to let you all know what your options were because saving is vital, okay? And like I said, you should always diversify your money, okay? You don't put everything in the same pot, okay? Because when you put things in the same pot, then you end up touching that pot a little bit too much and then you don't have anything. So always diversify your money. Um, that way you'll have different pots and you will never be broke. Okay, so thank you again for joining this live. If you are watching the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like and share this video uh, so I know that uh, you like this content, that you want more of it, and that'll give me more, uh, that'll give me encouragement to continue to educate on finance and funding and credit and all of that okay so i just thank you all and you all have a wonderful day i told you i'm going to keep you long um have a wonderful day